So, and I thought, you know, so, so we talk about Syria, talk about Syria, you know, we, we want to find out the origin, you know, how it's used, the meaning, the symbolism, and so on. But I thought it would not be complete if you don't take a look at the material culture of Syria. Yeah? So this is the, what, I, what I would like to think of some of the earliest form of Syria receptacle. Uh, this is not the original Bottega bag. Uh, this is pandanus like this here, yeah? and then we have this is also, but this could be multi-purpose, but I, this is, for this one, this is used for, for Siri uh, in, in the uh, ingredient. Um, the caption for this is interesting, I got this from the Oxford uh, Pitt Rivers Museum. Look at this weaving here, it's called Anyam Gila. Anyam Gila, because it's, it's, it means mat weave, it's just so difficult to attain the 3D, the emboss effect on a plate, a plate work like this. Uh, this is from Medan. Uh, this is not complete. You can tell the top is missing. Fred work out of brass. Yeah. Um, I just want you to take, as we look at all the various examples, the series set can be roughly categorized into three. It could be a box, it could be a tray, or it could be a bowl. Yeah. This is a box form. This is from Aceh. It has a dedicated name. It's called a kara. Silver. Uh, it's, it's fluted like this, like the shape of the, uh, the, the fruit, Asam Glugor. Yeah. This is yet another, also kara. Same cake, different icing. Also from Aceh. Yeah. But this one has got a Mughal sort of influence. It's no surprise because Aceh is also known as the veranda of Mecca. So you look out, you see the Indian Ocean. Yeah? So you have in the Indian influence. In the Archie, there's a lot of influence. You know, you've got Ottoman, Indian. And it says it's very, very, very colorful. Uh, again, fret work. Fret work or the or perforation work is very lace like, lattice work. Um, this is the inside is burr wood, but it's covered with silver plate that has been laced. Very, it has this lacy effect. Yeah? This is, I've, I found this from a Singapore family, but I don't believe this is from Singapore because I don't, I, from, from what I've read, we, we, we never had a production house like this. We had copper, we had brass in Singapore, in Kampung Tembaga, which is part of Kampung Gelam, but not this one. This used to be, uh, to be, this was used by a Jawi Pranakan family in Racecourse Road, Singapore. So as you know, Racecourse Road uh, had a Jawi Pranakan enclave. I like this because each individual box is called the chambol. This chambol has the continuous, the endless Buddhist knot. So it's a reminder of you know, our past, yeah, pre-Islamic, and yet it's still can making its appearance. By the way, this is the slicer or the kachip. Ah, I found this, this was given to me, it's a gift from somebody from Kampung Glam. Right? Um, very unusual shape. This tile is very East Java. Brass that has been etched. This is from Palimbang, very Palimbang lacquerware. Yeah? And each contained the, the uh, uh, very beautiful, I mean, when you look at this, think, think of the craftsman. Think of you know, what, what, could the, what could the inspiration be? I mean, we have neither the skill nor the patience to do something like this now. This, um, I found this in uh, Pera, um, Malay style, this is gold applique onto silver. This is the tray form. Banjar Masin, Banjar Masin style, Banjar Masin is located in the sort of a south, uh, southeast of Borneo, brass. Look at lotus, take a look, take a look of the, the lotus. Lotus, Saroja, Padma played a very central role in Malay art form. Yeah, again, it's sort of a pre-Islamic, yeah, the Buddha influence. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is from Padang. I, it has presence. I like the fact that it pops into, it, it pops out. The, um, it look, when you turn around, it's written in Jawi script, uh, 1846 Padang. Something like this is called a cherano or cherana. This style of all the ingredients are all put all together at one go, as opposed to into individual compartments. 
This is the brass interpretation of an earlier piece done in silver when uh, Princess Juliana of Dutch the, uh, got married in 1937. The Dato in Bukit Tinggi decided to, pre to present because you know, Indonesia was under the Dutch sort of colony. So they created exactly the same, 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 same style, but in silver. So this is the uh, sort of a later uh, brass interpretation of the Chirano. Again, notice everything is placed together. Today, in, in, uh, in Bukit Tinggi or in, in any parts of Minangkabau, if you are going to naik dato, you're going to be conferred a title. You cannot become a dato without this Chirano. You need this to be part of the ceremony. Then you can be a dato. Next to read, see, uh, folks, this is this called the Chalpa or Salapa. This is for portability. So if I have to go to a party, I don't want to bring the whole set, right? I will pre-pack at home, I fold everything, put nicely and hang it into my waist, my cummerbund, my waist belt. So when I'm at a, at, at a function, I just you know, open and smear. This is, this is where I would put the lime. The lime, I would, I would, uh, uh, I would apply last because it's caustic. Yeah? And when I look at this, it reminds me of what I call Malay chinoiserie. Because there's a tendency when we look at this, we say, this must be Pradak Khan. I say, really? Because this was made by Malays, used by Malays, or Malay royalty. But look at the phoenix. Look at the burung hong. Look at the mautan. Yeah? It's, it has a, it's clearly Chinese. So what, is, what, we, what, I'm, what, what this box tells us, you know, uh, there was a fascination. There's this, this cross-fertilization. Right, you know, Chinese with you know, with Chinese users uh, using um, a Malay, you know, some motive, and in this form, this case, this is clearly very Chinese. There was a, there was that was the prevailing style. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I like about this lacquer box also that it has windows all around it, and all the window you see fragments of kain limar. So in the Malay world today, we are very familiar with songket and batik. So what about our limar? We have forgotten our cut cloth here. Yeah. Yeah. Both are of Brunei origin. There's a special name, it's called, they are called Langwai. Made of brass, again, fret work, that is work, to, to give a sense of lightness. Otherwise, can you imagine, whole, I mean, it's, it's heavy enough. But with this, you know, and not only is it sort of, it, it, it's pleasing to the eye, you know, with, with the cementering uh, uh, vine work, foliage, but it gives a sense of lightness. Chinese Pranakan. So if you're from Fuchen and you want to travel to Palembang, very likely you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna pass Krimon Island. So this is from this is from the island of Krimon, from probably very old Chinese family. You know, see all the Chinese you know, characters and features, all this was uh, auspicious symbol. Uh, gold and silver. You can see this at the exhibition. Uh, it's on loan currently. Um, I thought this is really interesting. This is from Mindanao in the Philippines, uh, specifically the, the, from Maranao. Very heavy. Um, this is uh, silver inlaid uh, grass with silver inlay. It's nested and the wheels are made of Spanish coins. Very textural. Um, this is from Sia, yeah, tray form. I like this. This it has a minimal, it has minim, minimalism, right? Nice, clean lines, but it's very old. You know, this this is the coco de mer. Coco de mer or the sea coconut is indigenous to Seychelles. What does it tell us? It tells us that there must have been trade. By the trading, you from either from the Indian Ocean, you could be African origin or Indian origin. You made it made its way. This is from Solo, by the way, from the court of Solo. Yeah. Um, this is from this is from Perak, but I don't believe this is from Perak. I, you see, when you find a kris in Java, it doesn't make it a Javanese kris. The kris speaks for itself. So I found this in Pera, but I believe this must be Sumatran. This is mother of pearl, by the way. Yeah? Um, and I think it's no surprise because, first of all, the Straits of Malacca you know, has always been this uh, cultural corridor 
right? The water is, isn't a separation, but water is, is sort of a, a, a bridge of love. Um, and we also know that one of the daughters of the Sultan of Perak became the Sultan of Delhi in Medan. So I'm not surprised to see this in, uh, in Perak. Made in Singapore. We had, we had Malay Pandai Amas in Singapore. This was made by an uncle of the Ambo so We heard of Ambo Solo. Ambo Solo had an uncle by the name Ambo Kating. Ambo Kating used to uh, own half of Pulau Tekung Kecil. He was also a, a Pandai Amas, and this was made for his granddaughter. Wedding. The granddaughter now is 94 years old. I, when I, I saw this, and I was so excited, I forgot to take the, the picture of the tree. So all, all I managed is this. I mean, this is usually, you see, you know, you see glo globular, kind of sort of uh, typical shape, but this is in the shape of a, a leaf. Chinese pranakan. Uh, look at the base, gold leaf. This lid is made of glass. It's transparent, see-through, painted with enamel. Jogjakarta, um, again, Coco de Mer, but this is not the actual set. This is like sort of a, an amalgamation of various sets. It's so difficult to get a complete set, silver and gold. So if, un if you under close examination, you see three birds perching on the stalk, actually. Very small, very fine. Gold and uh, look at the gold, the silver has turned black. This is available. You can take a look, please, after the, after the talk, uh, sort of pop in and take, check out Budidaya. Uh, exhibition, and you see this. This is a veneer of the tortoise shell. Yeah? Very sexy looking, yes? Yeah. And the gold here, it, it looks reddish only because it has been stained with tamarind with assam. Right? So assam will make the, the gold red. Found in Singapore, but not from Singapore, it's from Uttar Pradesh, from Moradabad, and a, a Malay home. This is a Dutch influence series set. Yeah? Wood, silver, corners. This, this has compartments. This has compartments. This has got all the little, the, the little, uh, little boxes inside. Mother of Pearl. Yeah? Sumatran. Sumatra. But this is from, uh, this is from Lampung. This is a very la Lampung style of putting all the ingredients all into one. Dutch. So um, the Dutch men, Dutch men consumed, Dutch men used, I mean, Siri, so that they could function, you know, with, you know, with, with the, with, with the, with the, with the, you know, with the, with the sultan or with the aristocrat, you know, if you want to do business, you know, so the Dutch pick up that habit. Uh, I don't see that among a uh, male Chinese product counter, yeah? Um, but the Dutch, you see, they, this is very, very European, we see these girls and boys here. I even, I've seen some that has been painted with angels and with wings. This is from Batavia. Uh, the various uh, Bakas Sire or Klongsong Sire. Look at the very, I mean, you, you can actually, if you want to start a collection, you don't even have to start a Sire set. You can just go around and do nothing but collect Bakas Sire. I mean, the, the design, the, the ideas, the creativity is infinite. Let's take a look at this one, right? I mean, how clever. The, the container itself is made of in a Siri, silver and gold. Yeah. So I found this, this gentleman here in a book. I think it's an uh, 19th, early 19th century book. And I thought this is the quintessential Orang Melayu, uh, Malay person. But this is actually Ibrahim Munchi. So Munshi is a language teacher. You see, he's wearing a panding. He has a craze. He has a salapa. So this is salapa. Yeah, salapa here has, has a, 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 is engraved in Jawi. Another salapa. Yeah, different style. Yeah. This is from this is this is Bugis style. I found this. Um, take, let's take a look at kachip. You will also be able to find this kachip. This is made from the same material that we use for making the blade for the crease, yeah? for Central Java. And it has also been damascened with gold. Under close examination, you find gold here. Hornbill design from Borneo. Uh, I like this a lot because it has interlocking swastika 
on it. Again, a reminder of our Buddhistic sort of root. This is Indian from Coromandel Coast. So somebody said this is not cracker. This is not nut cracker. It's actually nut slicer. Yeah. Ah, what about this one? So this is what, apart from you have the elegant, yeah, the one that we, sh we, sh we saw earlier, you could also have something like this. The man, this is made of heavy silver. Have it around over your shoulder. You put all your siri and all the parts inside here. Tobacco is over here. This is like the old-fashioned Swiss, uh, Swiss army knife. You can, you know, you need all the things you need to dig your ears, to pick your nose, yeah? But for the ladies, you know, you cannot carry this. It's just not, you know, it's just not ladylike. For the ladies, ladies would carry something like this. Okay? This is called an unchang sireh. You know, unchang teh for Lipton tea. This is unchang sireh. You can open up. You can see the material here. I mean, it's just very old embroidery. Um, it was covered with velvet, red velvet and gold. Yeah? It's wood inside, but there's, gold, there's a gold sort of a, a, a covering. Um, so... The velvets are gone. Typically, this is carried by the aunt, the, uh, el, an elder, an auntie, as part of the entourage to the groom to the bride's home. So she would lead, the, she would lead everybody. She would carry this. As she walked in, this jingles. It says, I'm coming. We are here. Yeah? Okay. So that, that's that. You see? What you see, that's exactly what it is. Okay. So, so these are the, the Kator or Tempat Luda. So for those of you who want to try, uh, feel, free, feel free to try afterwards. I've got everything here. I even got clothes in case you like clothes. Uh, you can use this to, to uh, spit it out, yeah? So we've come to, we've come to an end of, of this talk. Um, but I thought it was nice to end with a, with a, with a short pantone here that goes like this. Makan sirih berpinang tidak, pinang ada di bawah tangga. Makan sirih mengenyang tidak, hanya kerana budi dan bahasa. So I want to translate in, in, in English. It says, Beetle chewing without the erica nut, the erica lies under the stairs. Beetle chewing fills not the tummy, only for graciousness and courtesy. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, for bringing people together. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.